Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I am here today with the refresher course for the purple book, which is my pizza box style box template. Um, this one is a little bit harder for people um, to kind of follow along. Um, I still have to use different color pens because I don't make a lot of these boxes and so I really have to think about it. The fold flat box, I can do my sleep. This one, I really have to think about it. So turn to a blank piece of paper and whatever random object you have, this is what we're gonna do. This is how you use the template. First, we're gonna measure our item. Now, when you have a rectangle, you need to decide if you want it to open, um, where's my other box? Horizontally or vertically, okay? So I have this little pizza box that opens vertically. And then I have this pizza box, which I took apart. Then this one opens horizontally. So you need to determine which side you want. I'm gonna show you both. Um, and it's very simple. You just switch your measurements to get whatever size box you need. So for this particular item, these post-it notes, if you want it to open like this, then you're gonna do your measurements this way. For me, I always write my measurements left to right, up and down, by how thick it is, okay? So my left to right, I'm gonna say one and a quarter. My up and down, I'm gonna say three and a quarter. And my thickness, I'm gonna say half an inch, <coughs> excuse me, because I don't wanna work with my eighths right now. All right, so the pieces of a pizza style box, right? We have our outside flaps, which are gonna be this piece is this piece, this piece and this piece are here and here. This middle piece, your hinge, is this piece here. Your bottom tray is that piece here. And then this flap is this piece here. So we open this up. It looks just like our template. Okay, so that's your piece. So with that said, Whenever you're doing your thickness, that's gonna go here, 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 and here. Okay, so half, 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 and half, okay? Now, our left to right needs to go one time. This is our left to right, so that's one and a quarter. Okay, my up and down is gonna be this second number. That's three and a quarter. Now, because I have two panels going up and down, I need to account for that twice. So I need to put my up and down like that, okay? Now, let's calculate this. So I, in my book, I cheat sheet and wrote this down. Left to right, you need to add three numbers. Up and down, it's gonna be five. So the numbers that you need to get from left to right is your left panel, your left to right number, and your right panel. Those are your three numbers, okay? So one, so this is two and a quarter by. Now my up and down, I need five numbers. So your top panel, your up and down, your hinge, your up and down, your bottom your bottom panel, your bottom flap. You need to calculate all five of those numbers, okay? So with that, we have 
plus 3.25 plus 0.5 plus 3.25 plus 0.5 equals 8. Okay, so score on the long side. We can see that our long side is the green. So now we need to figure out what our measurements are going to be. Okay, so our first measurement is going to be going from this line getting here. So that's a half an inch. Now we need to get from here all the way to here. So you're going to add this number. So 0.5 plus 3.25. So that gives you 0.5 plus 3.25. That gives you 3 and 3 quarters. Okay. Now you need to get from that 3 and 3 quarters down here. So you need to add your half an inch. So that's 4 and a quarter. Now you need to get from here to here. So you need to add um, the 3 and a quarter. So 7 and a half. Okay. Short side is your 2 and a quarter. That's your pink side. So now we need to get from here to here. That's half an inch. And then we need to get from here to here. So you need to add that one and a quarter. So 0.5 plus 1.25. That's one and three fourths. Okay. So that's all we need. Okay. So let's get a piece of paper. So two and a quarter by eight. I'm just gonna get some straps. Okay. So eight by two and a quarter. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is kind of the shortcut way. You can follow your measurements exactly. Um, I just know all four sides are going to be half an inch because that's what my template shows me. So I'm just going to go ahead and score all four sides at half an inch. One, two, three, and four. Okay. So that should give me the correct measurements. You can double check it with your ruler. If I'm looking at the short side, it should be at half an inch and one and three fourths which that's exactly what it is. Now on the long side, I already have the half an inch. So now I need to go to the next measurement, which is three and three fourths. Okay. And then four and a quarter. Okay. So that's done. You're gonna take your bone folder. You're gonna varnish really, really well. Um, I typically burnish after I cut, but I'm going to do this now for you guys to see a little bit better because this is the craft paper and it's kind of hard to see the lines when they're not varnish. Burnish, varnish, however you say the word. Okay. Now we're going to take our scissors and you have three vertical score marks on the bottom. You put the long side. You're going to cut that first. You're going to miter, you're going to miter. Now you're going to choose if you want to cut off a little tiny bit or just leave it alone. That's up to you. Your next score line, you're going to cut up. The third score line, cut up, miter, miter. I'll just leave these. I won't cut the bulks. It don't matter. Go to that fourth score line, cut up, miter, miter. Okay. Rotate it, do the exact same thing. Now, it doesn't matter if you do all cut up all your score lines first and then miter. It, it does not matter. Just as long as you get these little tabs. Some people like to cut their score lines first. So they don't forget where to cut. Okay. Now 
out, you're going to determine what is going to be the top of your box and what is going to be the bottom. The bottom receives four tabs and the top receives two. So I like to do my tabs like so. I prefer wet glue for boxes. You might prefer score tape, but you need something super heavy, like or super adhesive. No tape runner, because your box will fall apart. Okay, so now we're just lining up our corners. And the reason I put the glue on all four tabs is because I don't like to wait for it to dry. And I am using Art Glitter Glue or Barely Art Glue, whichever one I have. And it only takes a second to dry, but I don't like to wait. So by the time I'm ready to do the third and fourth tab, they're already almost dry. Okay. The top gets two tabs, so there's one and two. Okay, I like to pull my lid all the way back, squeeze it in right here, just so you don't get those massive wings. And then should be good to go. And voila. If you want a finger pull, you're just going to take any circle punch that you have. This one, I probably need a tiny circle punch. I probably should do this before I glued it, but I didn't. Okay, so I can't fit that in there. Yeah, so if you want a finger pull, you're either going to have to... <laughs> Do it before you glue it, or just take your scissors and just make a tiny little semicircle or triangle or whatever shape you want. I just did like a little triangle because I thought it was cute. Like so, it's just a little something that you can do like that. All right, so that's a refresher on that. Now. If you want it to go open the other way, horizontal, all you have to do is switch your left to right numbers and your up and down. So instead of it being one and a quarter by three and a quarters, we're going to do three and a quarter by one and a quarter by half. Okay? Same thing. Half, 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 half half because we didn't change our thickness we just changed our left to right and we changed our up and down okay so yes I'm going super fast because I'm just showing you this really quickly all right my left to right one two three one so four and a quarter by one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, and a half. Wait. One, two, three, and three fourths. Let me get a calculator. <laughs> 0 0.5 plus 1.25 plus 0 0.5 plus 1.25 plus 0.5 plus 0.5. That's four. Okay. Let me get a piece of paper. Well, first, let's go ahead and do our measurements. So as we can see, the long side is this side here. So we basically just need a half an inch on either side. So um, the long side is half an inch. And one, two, three and a quarter. And then the short side is going to be our four inch side. And so we need to get from here to here. So half an inch plus one point five plus one point two five. 
so four by one and a quarter. Oh, I can use this scrap. So on the so I'm gonna go ahead and just score it at half an inch on all four sides. Okay. And on the short side, so the four inch side, I need to it already has the half an inch, and I need to do one and three quarters and two and a quarter. Okay. There we go. Now this one, this is one of the ones where it's not working on the long side. We're working on the short side. It's basically gonna be the side that has the most score marks. So you're gonna go ahead and cut up that first score line. Miter, miter. Cut up that second score line. Cut up the third. Miter, miter. Score line, miter, miter. And cut the little bulks that you want to. Okay, do the same thing. Score line, miter, miter, bulk. Score line, score line, miter, miter, bulk. And then last one, score line, miter, miter, bulk. And I did not do a good job with that one. Okay. If you haven't already, bone folder and varnish. What's the top? What's the bottom? The bottom gets four tabs. The top gets two. It doesn't matter if you start in the front of the box or the back of the box, whichever is more comfortable for you. I don't really have a preference. I just start. Okay, and then your top tabs get two tabs. Your top lid. Okay. I like to pull my box all the way back just to give that hinge some direction and there you go so see just by switching those two measurements around you have your vertical opening box or you have your horizontal opening box all right, well, that is your refresher on the pizza style box. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye.